Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead. This is going to be doing our next throwback review for the Year of the Dead series. This one is my review for The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 16, the season finale titled Conqueror. <laughs> Okay guys, just gonna be doing another video for today. This one's gonna be doing another video for The Walking Dead. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing our throwback review for this week's throwback review episode for The Walking Dead Year of the Dead series. This one is for Conqueror. So, uh, man oh man, this was a really fun recommendation from you guys for this week. Uh, this one won the poll. I honestly didn't even think it was gonna uh, win the poll this week at all. I thought this would be one of the ones that'd be more on, you know, the lower side of the vote. But uh, you guys voted this one in. I think it was like 55% of you guys voted this one. So, really, really cool to hear this one from you guys and uh, well we have picked a really really cool finale uh, this episode I think is really great um, I think this is a really really great episode of The Walking Dead and it's the season 5 finale as well too so basically this episode we get to see I guess what we've been waiting to see throughout the entire season which is Morgan so we start off the episode and we see him you know he's following the trail he's following the you know the notes and this and that and he runs into the one guy named uh, Owen from the Wolves. Now, obviously, uh, you know, we kind of get to see Morgan's, you know, training skills, obviously with the staff and stuff like that. He kicks their ass. I mean, let's just put it that way. Uh, he literally does. And not only that, uh, he really, really handles his own, but he doesn't kill them. And that's the one thing that we kind of notice here. So, you know, he honks the horn, but he doesn't kill them himself. So, yeah, a really cool way to start off a finale, I got to say. So basically after that, you've got Rick, uh, you got Rick that wakes up after getting knocked out from Michonne. And well, basically let's talk about this one. Uh, Rick is kind of under the impression that they may have to use their knives because, you know, they may have to, you know, kill some of the Alexandrians if it gets out of control tonight at the meeting. So, uh, you know, Rick says, if it looks like it's going bad, I whistle. Carol grabs Deanna. I grab Spencer. You know, everybody kind of gets everybody and uh, we get the crowd under control or whatever. And it's like, you know, we can talk to them. And Rick's like, yeah, we will. Well, if we can't get through, we'll take the three of them. We'll tell them we'll slit their throats. So it's just like, damn, Rick. So Rick is really savage in this episode when it comes to what he did. And, you know, there's a plan, you know, and you got a lot of the stuff going on as a result. So let's talk about some of the stuff we've got uh, in Alexandria. You got Deanna that wants to send Rick away. Maggie says, like, it's not going to work and you don't want to do it. Uh, you've got Reg that kind of says, like, you know, he'll put in a word for him, you know. And then you've got uh, Nicholas that pulls his crap in this one. So basically, he lures Glenn out of Alexandria. He lures him all the way out there, then shoots him uh, about right here. Glenn goes down, and then uh, you've got kind of a fight that kind of ensues. Now, you got walkers that get involved. Nicholas is a total piece of crap and leaves Glenn for dead, trying to kill him like a couple times here. And... I mean, this is one of the things in this episode that really, uh, really annoys me, I will say, is that Glenn in this episode decides in the end not to kill him. He decides, I'm not going to kill Nicholas, you know, uh, which I feel like would have been a perfect time for Glenn to kill him, to be honest with you, because uh, I just feel like Nicholas as a person, he just really should not live after what he did. I mean, honestly, you killed Noah, you shot me, you left me for dead, you left me to get eaten alive. And you also left, you know, Aiden or whatever. I mean, he's just, he's such a piece of crap. He's stupid. He doesn't know what he wants. And he's an absolute coward. There's literally no redeeming factors about this guy at all. I mean, honestly, and even during the time in season six where the guy was trying to redeem himself, I remember I'm just like, bro, what, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you trying to do? You are such a moron. And honestly, Nicholas, uh, as a character, I feel like Glenn should have killed him in this instance. But like I said, it's not who Glenn is, so I can kind of understand why he didn't do it. But I'm just saying, if that was me in that situation, after all the things that he's done to me and my people and, you know, all this stuff and how much of a risk it is to take him back, honestly, I, I'm good. Um, I wouldn't want to do it either, but honestly, if I was in Glenn's shoes... I think he would have pushed me to a point where I would have done it there in the end, honestly. Um, you know, in particular, shooting me and leaving me for dead after that. Like, you know, it's one thing killing Noah. It's one thing leaving Aiden and, you know, kind of, you know, lying about Rick's people and this and that. But no, honestly, he'd be done. So we've also got Gabriel in this one. Speaking of idiots, uh, man, he has come so far because he is a moron this episode. And I actually kind of forgot about how much of an ass he was. Like, he basically goes around and he's, you know, killing the dead. He leaves the gate wide open for the dead to just come in, which they do. Rick notices that later. And 
He's just a, he's just, he's, he's a moron, man. He doesn't want to help Sasha. Sasha damn near kills him until Maggie comes in there and stops her. I mean, it's just, Gabriel is, is, is quite the moron in this episode. Now, we've also got Daryl and we've got Aaron. Now, let's talk about this. They run into the Del Arno Foods, which, man, if that's not a sign, there's no foods around, uh, and uh, Del Arno Foods. So, basically, they get trapped. Uh, it's a trap from the wolves. Uh, we get a really cool, we get a really sweet, like, triple kill from Daryl with the chain. That was really sick. And they get locked in the car. Now, I love the conversation between the two of them because they talk about how, you know, the, the reason that Aaron brought, you know, uh, Daryl and them back is because when Daryl went... And in, you know, uh, season five, episode 10 at the barn, he saw what Daryl did uh, to get his people to safety. And that's when he knew that he had to bring them in. Um, I really, really like that. So that's when he knew I had to bring you people in. That's when he knew that he had to do what he did. And I thought that was really cool how he kind of let Daryl know that. So they then go for it. And just as you think, oh crap, they're caught by the wolves. There comes Morgan to their rescue, man. Absolutely amazing. As he introduces himself, uh, they introduce him to the idea of, of uh, you know, Alexandria. And he tells Daryl that all life is precious. And that's when you kind of have to, like, take a, you know, a sit back and be like, hang on a sec. That is not the same guy that we saw in Clear. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, damn, okay, so this guy is very different. And obviously, we now know why, but back then, we were confused. We were like, okay, why is he, you know, so peaceful and stuff like that? I mean, it's nice to have around, but yeah, it definitely makes you wonder, like, you know, how did he switch? How did he, you know, change like that, right? So, uh, you get that, and uh, he shows the map to Daryl, and that's when the, you know, the pieces of the puzzle kind of start connecting a little bit. So, yeah, really cool. So, okay, now let's talk about the build up here. So we got the meeting, we've got the walkers, obviously, uh, that come in, Rick has to deal with one of them. And, you know, we get some really, really cool, you know, an interesting dialogue, you know, Carol, and Michonne and Abraham's is the best at the meeting, you know, um, love that. And uh, well, basically, we got Rick and the rest. Now, Rick obviously kind of dumps the body in front of everybody. And he's kind of like, there wasn't a guard at the gate, it was open. And, you know, he's like, you know, it got inside on its own. You know, they always will. The dead are the living because we're in here. And you get a really cool montage as you see everything kind of going on. And he says, like, we'll survive. I'll show you how. You know, I'm not sorry about what I said last night. If anything, I'm sorry for not saying it sooner. And, you know, he tells them, everybody, like, you're not ready. You're, you're, you're weak, you know, but you have to be. Especially right now, you know, that type of thing. You have to be ready. And, uh, well, then you get Pete that comes in and completely just switches the mood completely. Uh, he's got Michonne's sword. He completely murders Reg. And Abraham tackles him down to the ground. They hold him down. And, um... Deanna, once she realizes that Reg is gone, kind of pushes her to tell Rick, do it. So Rick then shoots Peter and uh, finally kills Peter, but Morgan is there to witness it. Damn. So, uh, and that's how you wrap it up. That's how you wrap up season five. Now there is a post credit at the end of this episode. I didn't forget. Uh, there is a post credit and it's basically uh, Michonne putting her sword back, but then realizing, uh, you know what? Maybe I should hang on to it. And you've also got Wolves not far as they kill the one dude uh, in the uh, red poncho uh, that Daryl and Aaron were trying to track, you know, earlier, but he gets killed by the wolves, sadly. So, yeah, uh, damn good episode. Honestly, I'd say my only problems with this episode remain, I feel like Gabriel was just kind of an ass. Like, he kind of, he started to piss me off and not in a good way either. And I feel like Glenn should have killed Nicholas in this moment. Honestly, I, I really do. So I'm going to say that this finale is a 9.5. I honestly think it's super, super, super awesome. Uh, I think the only thing, like I said, is just minor nitpicks, in particular with Gabriel. And then Glenn, you know, I feel like maybe he should have killed Nicholas there. I feel like that would have been a good first kill for Glenn. Um, but like I said, it's a super awesome finale. It's no season four finale, I'll say that. Uh, or season six finale, but I think it's a really good episode. I think they really, really set the bar for season six uh, in this finale here. So definitely let me know in the comment section below, what did you guys think about this episode of The Walking Dead? Uh, in retrospect, after all these years, what did you guys think about this one? Definitely let me know in the comments, comment section below. So of course, guys, if you're new here, click subscribe and shoot up some of my videos for The Walking Dead. Follow Dan's more reviews, subscribe, guys, and of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for The Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. My God, no!